Prepare, everybody. We have some groundbreaking news that will completely alter the landscape for seniors and those who receive VA, SSI, SSDI, and Social Security benefits. Now that Senator Bernie Sanders' historic dollar, 655 direct payment proposal has been formally enacted into law. We're going to go over the specifics in depth. Join us as we dissect the main components of this law, including who is eligible, how payments will be made, and most importantly, what this financial boon means for the millions of veterans and elderly who live in this country. The direct payments will be dispersed in two installments, the first of which will arrive the next week and the second of which will arrive on November 3rd. The payments will be made automatically to the bank account or mailing address that Social Security has on file for seniors. They do not need to apply for them. The potential impact of $655 direct payments on the lives of the most vulnerable members of our society is remarkable. For seniors who have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic and growing costs of living, this is a big relief. Seniors who get direct payments will have assistance paying for necessities including food, housing, and medical care. To ensure that you never miss another update from us, please hit the bell button and subscribe to the channel. Greetings to all, and welcome to Stimulus Alret, our channel. Are you anxiously awaiting the most recent information regarding Social Security and the fourth stimulus checks? If so, you've come to the correct spot. Take a seat back, unwind, and let's start watching the film. We want to help you take advantage of a multitude of opportunities that you may be overlooking when you prepare your yearly tax return. Let's start with tax credits, those hard-to-find financial treasures that have the potential to make a big difference to your income. We will discuss child and dependent care tax credits, which have the potential to save you up to $3,000, as well as child tax credits, which may put up to $2,000 in your pocket for each child. The American Rescue Act's temporary measures have altered the environment. We'll explain how these changes can impact your financial plan. The wealth of financial knowledge doesn't stop there, though. We'll highlight a little-known advantage that might completely transform the lives of divorced people. Even if you haven't claimed your own benefits, your ex-spouse may be eligible for retirement benefits based on your record if you were divorced for at least two years in a row. Our in-depth conversation will highlight the subtleties and tactics to optimize these sometimes disregarded advantages, giving you insightful knowledge for your financial future. Let's now discuss the timing of those important Social Security benefits. We will walk you through the Social Security payment schedule so you will know exactly when those funds are supposed to arrive in your account. We have all the information you require, regardless of whether you were born on the 1st or the 10th, the 11th or the 20th, or the 21st or the 31st of the month. It's crucial to preserve your key documents in addition to your financial future. We will stress that laminating your Social Security card can cause its security elements to be obscured will offer wise substitutes in its place for safeguarding this important piece of identification, as well as other important records, like your birth certificate and COVID-19 immunization card. We'll also go through how to keep these things safe and handy by keeping them in a secure location, such as a safety deposit box or house safe. Finally, we will discuss tax reporting, a subject that frequently causes misunderstanding. In this sense, your benefit statement, also known as the SSA 1099 form, can be extremely helpful because it offers a detailed breakdown of your Social Security income for the preceding year. With this paperwork in hand, you'll be ready to accurately report your income to the IRS come tax time. First up, let's talk about a subject that a lot of us have on our minds, Social Security benefit taxation. We'll look at why some households end up having to pay federal income taxes on their Social Security benefits. This usually happens if you have other significant sources of income in addition to your benefits. Wages, self-employment income, interest, dividends, and other taxable income are examples of this. Notably, Supplementary Security Income, SSI, is not subject to taxes, offering a safety net for individuals who require it. We now turn to the opinions of financial specialists to analyze Social Security's future. Social Security benefits are unlikely to completely disappear, but in the ensuing decades, we should expect substantial adjustments. It is anticipated that the system will continue to change, just as it has since it was created. It would take significant legislative action from both major parties for it to go. We'll examine the possible outcomes and their implications for next generations. We are concerned about the future in addition to the present. 
Financial experts are already raising red flags about the probable social security inadequacies of the oldest generation, which is only 26 years old. In the event that lawmakers do not act quickly, the trust fund that provides benefits in the future may run out as early as 2035. Experts such as Kevin Chancellor, the founder of Black Lab Financial Services, will speak to us about the gravity of the crisis and the necessity of taking preventative action to ensure Social Security's survival. Turning around, let's go back in time and examine the background of Social Security's Cost of Living Adjustments, or COLAs. Benefits must be increased on a regular basis in order to keep up with inflation. Inflation rates in 1970 reached 11.3 percent, necessitating large COLA adjustments. We'll examine how COLAs have changed over time, how they are calculated, and how they affect retirees. We need to comprehend the past in order to comprehend the present. A COLA provision was introduced by Congress in 1975, and it established automatic yearly COLAs based on the CPIW's annual increase. Prior to that, modifications to Social Security benefits required special legislation. Over time, COLA calculation techniques and timeliness have changed. We'll delve into the details and provide insight into the current COLA system. In order to fully understand the significance of COLAs, let's go back to the 1970s, a period marked by skyrocketing inflation. Not only did inflation affect people, but it also had an effect on government benefits, real estate contracts, and contracts pertaining to compensation. The idea of COLAs was created to protect beneficiaries and retirees' financial security. Now let's switch to a subject that is very important to many people, survivor benefits. The age at which you are eligible for survivor benefits varies. The likelihood of receiving survivor benefits decreases as one approaches 60 years of age. That being said, you are eligible to collect 100% of your deceased spouse's pension once you reach full retirement age. 66 or 67 is the usual full retirement age, depending on the year of your birth. This concludes today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you found this material helpful in order to receive future updates on the most recent financial news.